Hello, I'm Daniel Bridge. Uh, I'm a photography tutor and uh, today I was doing some tuition uh, with a customer uh, looking at Lightroom, going you know, through all the different stages and um, the subject of the colour checker passport came up because I was talking about um, custom camera uh, colour profiles and I explained uh, briefly how uh, you could use one of these to create a custom profile for the camera uh, to render colours accurately. Um, and I thought uh, that it would be a nice idea to do a little video like this that just shows you how quickly and easily we can set these cas uh, custom camera profiles up. Um, this is the uh, Colour Checker Passport. It's a, um, uh, it's a, a device that um, we can use with uh, the plugin that uh, it installs into Lightroom uh, or as a standalone um, uh, application uh, and it will create a custom profile uh, when we use it with particular images uh, and those images are ones that include this uh, in it. So we take a picture with the passport in there um, and the, uh, the, the plugin will then look at that image, uh, it will look at the uh, these colour swatches here and it knows what colour they should be and it can see what colour they are and it will adjust them to give us um, the, the correct colours and in adjusting those it's then adjusting all the colours throughout the image uh, to get those accurate. In Lightroom 5, the version that I'm using, uh, we have um, these profiles under camera calibration uh, at the bottom of the right hand panel in the develop module. Um, the latest version of uh, Classic CC uh, has that uh, up here instead, so the profiling uh, options are up there. Uh, but for this one, uh, we've got it down here. It does the same thing, just different position, and in fact, uh, up the top there is a little bit more in your face, and you're more likely to see it and perhaps wonder what it's all about. So at the moment I've got it on Adobe Standard, which is what I used for a, a number of years when I was using Lightroom, and then about a year ago I got one of these uh, colour checker passports and discovered that it can make really quite a big difference to the images uh, that you're uh, shooting, how that colour is represented. So how uh, easy it is to set this up. So we've got Mr Forbes here, he's a tall now that's sitting uh, on a fence post. Mr Forbes belongs to Eden Falconry. Um, they are um, who I uh, run my photography workshops and private tuition with uh, when we're doing Birds of Prey things. Um, I've placed the uh, passport on the post next to him and he hasn't eaten it, which is a bonus. Um, but uh, I've then in, uh, imported that image um, to Lightroom and uh, we can then just simply export it to the, uh, the, the plugin that it um, uh, installs uh, when you get it. Uh, we'll call it something, we'll call it Mr Forbes. And um, you, know, you might want something that's a little bit more descriptive, that's purely for this image and for this demonstration. Uh, press save and up here we can see processing profile uh, profile generation this may take a few minutes uh, it really I suppose depends on the the speed of your computer as to how quickly that will do it um, if the image is too small in there uh, or for some other reason you might get it that it doesn't actually recognize it but um, here it has it's been successfully generated we need to restart Lightroom in order to uh, activate it and see that profile in this area down here so I'll close down uh, Lightroom and reopen it. And up it pops again and Mr Forbes will appear uh, again, uh, Mr Forbes. So um, now when we look over here at the, um, uh, at the profiles down here, uh, we'll see that Mr Forbes is in the listing. Um, if I click on that, we can see a change in the warmth of the image. Uh, if I come down to the history down here and switch between uh, that Adobe standard profile, it's a cooler, less vibrant image, but specifically if we look at these, uh, the, those blue ones, uh, that purple, and this orangey red here as well, uh, as we go back to the, um, uh, the new Mr Forbes uh, profile, um, how they uh, change in intensity, switch between those uh, uh, to get that looking up. So. Um, 
Creating that profile doesn't take very long at all. We can then apply that profile uh, to uh, various different shots, all our shots, certainly all the ones in that sort of situation uh, and in that lighting, and that will be fine. We'll get those richer colors, uh, more accurate colors. Um, now I use a color check passport all the time, really, uh, but I don't get it out of my bag a huge amount. Uh, I do use it if I need to do a custom white balance, and I'll occasionally do the, uh, something like this. Um, but in general, I'm using a profile that I've created uh, about a year ago when I first got it, and it's called a dual illuminant um, uh, profile. And what we do there is take uh, a picture of the, uh, the passport in two different lighting situations. So I've done one in shade, nice sunny day, uh, the passport's in the shade, so it's that very cool uh, lighting on there, and one in sunlight, so it's the kind of opposite end of the spectrum for, for natural lighting, really. Um, and we select both of those images and export them both at the same time uh, to the plugin, and it will um, create uh, a dual illuminant um, uh, profile. Um, I've called that K3 New. Uh, I've got a Pentax K3, and at the time that profile was new, so there it is. Uh, if I switch to that, we would see very little difference in the look of that image. So it just shows how well it's created that and how uh, consistent that is. Switching between those two, next to no difference there. Um, so that K3 new I have uh, as a standard profile um, when I've created my um, default input port uh, settings uh, it's one of the options that is uh, used uh, all the time so I know that's going to be applied uh, correctly. Now another uh, image we've got here uh, and this shows uh, just what a difference that that uh, profile can make. Uh, again we're on the Adobe standard at the moment and uh, this Chevy uh, which was by uh, the M25 um, uh, in the summer uh, you know, looks orange, but it's not particularly um, uh, strong or vibrant orange. Uh, when we apply the K3 new profile, uh, we see a significant difference in the vibrancy of that orange. Uh, it's quite um, marked there between those two. Uh, much more vibrant um, and uh, suits that image. Uh, what well, suits the reality of it really uh, much much better. They only cost uh, about £90, which bearing in mind the cost of uh, your camera and your lenses, uh, probably uh, a fairly small investment for getting more accurate, more consistent uh, colours. Um, so that's the X-Rite Colour Checker Passport, uh, and we're using that in uh, Lightroom. Uh, and apart from me waffling on, the actual creation of that profile probably took about a minute, uh, if that. OK, thanks for watching. and. Um, I'll see what I can come up with next. See you then. Bye-bye.